Hello, Russell Boone here. Welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. So I'm actually experimenting with a new format. You might notice there's a lot more room on the right hand side. That way you know when I've got a bourbon moment, I can count it up. Alright, today we are going to be going for that date with Papyrus here in Snowden Town. <laughs> Sorry, you looked like you had something to say there. I speak when needed. Fair point. Oh, it's a nice house, actually. Whoa. Must be his kitchen. Impressed? I increased the height of the sink! Now I can fit more bones under it! Take a look-see! Oh, it's that dog again. Must be his dog. What?! Catch that meddling canine! Curses! Oh, is that Sans room? What? What? Is that fire coming out from under it? But more importantly, is that a trombone he's playing? Ugh. I'll count that. Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. <laughs> okay, let's look at the fridge. What does a skeleton keep in his fridge? Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is full of containers all labeled SPAGHETTI! The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. And frozen peas. That's the trash can! Feel free to visit it any time. Let's see, oh, nope, nothing there. What about the stovetop? My brother always goes out to eat. But recently, he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary, non-egg substance. Like a pie? Was it a butterscotch cinnamon pie? I, I got to know. What's on telly? Oh, it's my favorite game show! It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this! This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me! Is that a video game? It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Nope. Sans, please pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it! Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back into my room? Forget it! Couch. Go couch! Go couch! Loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold! Awesome! Money! Alright, what book do you read? It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Dare I? Yeah, of course I dare. Danger zone. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics... <sighs> Two-in-one episode. Great. Let's see here. I'm guessing this is Papyrus's room. Yep. That's my room! If you'd finish looking around, we could go in and, uh... Do whatever people do when they date. Isn't my character like 12? Oh, uh, boy. What am I in for? Ooh, actually, that's a pretty dope room. Hey, uh, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. Well, those bones look trouseled to me. The internet. I'm quite popular there. Yeah, yeah, I understand that he is. Like the majority of fan art is all about him. From a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Oh, come on, we all know who that is. It was me. Damn. Where were we using times? That book's... One of my favorites, Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites, Peekaboo with a Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. 
truly a tragic tale. <laughs> Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Uh, okay. Oh, oh boy. He, he, doesn't he know that humans have skeletons inside them? <laughs> no, and I hope he never realizes that. Else he might try to release them from their fleshy prison. Oh, yeah. Action figures, a great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. Mm, how do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Know what you mean? Sansta? That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. You don't have hair. Son of my... You don't have skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Let's see here. Uh, what about this door? There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me, sometimes. I know what you're thinking. No. No, no, no. 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 Cue the Kanye West joke. Dumbass! Look in the closet. Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Yes, now what do I just talk to him? So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date, yes. Okay, dating start. Okay. Uh-oh. Here we are on our date. <clears throat> I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. He's not wrong. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key. Okay. What? Ah! It's oh. the dating HUD. Okay. Okay. Step two, ask them on a date. Okay. I, the great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Ha! How are you blushing? You don't have blood. Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Um. Wait a second. Weak clothing? That bandana around your head? You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. What? No! You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No! Your dating power! Is it over 9,000? <laughs> I don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too. Just checking. Can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! What have you got? Okay. Yeah, sure, why not, if you're a 90s teenager. No! A genuine compliment. That is one cool dude. Hmm. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Zed. Okay, um... I see, I see. You like caressing my bicep. You don't have biceps. Or I'm gonna be crude. There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. And probably lots of... Didn't read. All clothing articles can be improved this way by adding cool to it. Exactly. Hmm, my hat? My hat. My hat. 
Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right? But oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti! Finely aged in an oaken cask. Speaking of oaken casks. <sighs> then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human! It is time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking, and by extension, me! <clears throat> Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Ah! <clears throat> no! Well then, human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? <clears throat> oh, shoot, human, I, uh, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you to deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> Papyrus is good people. Yes. Uh oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me any time. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> well, interesting. So, now mm -hmm. that you have Papyrus' number, you can bring up your me menu and call him from anywhere. Oh, uh, what's the bloody button again? Oh, X, right. Cell phone. Banana phone. You're in my house. Good choice. Oh, I guess it's technically Sans's house, too. But I prefer not to discuss his part of it. His room is... It's like another world. A world where they don't know how to vacuum. Oh, okay, so yeah, Sans's room probably looks like Dan's apartment from Dan Versus, huh? So, he will have unique dialogue for pretty much every single room in the uh, entire game. Oh, okay. Including the uh, battle side here, I'm going to give that a shot. I can't hit... Oh, it's not letting me turn the X on, is it? Oh, okay, so there's no way to... Let's see. It's, oh, it's C. What about this one? Oh, well, it's called Toriel, too. Nobody picked up. Oh, okay. Ring, ring, ring. Waterfall! I barely know anything about it, but I'll do my best to inform you. Hmm. Neat. So he'll tell you tidbits about the area, random stories about his past. Oh, all right. Nonsense about anything, really. Plenty of nonsense. Yes. Oh, save the game. Mm, the sound of rushing water fills you with determination and goblins. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jaws before? Fortunately, two jaws mean twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's, welcome. Sure, let's do it. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from work. 
Over here. I know a shortcut. I don't know that I did this before. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Oh, wait, that was that guy talking. That should have been... <laughs> Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you here for breakfast just a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast for at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby will have a double order of Berg. He's made of fire. He's Grillby. Yes. So, what do you think of my brother? Yeah, he's cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Ha <laughs> ha. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? No. More for me. And it just chugs it straight from the bottle. Oh, like Pikachu. Anyway, cool or not, you will have to agree that Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. See, I didn't do this scene in the previous playthrough, I don't think. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Sure, fire away. Whoa, spotlight. Have you ever heard of a talking flo- Yes. So, you know all about it. The Echo Flower. Oh, not that one, no. Oh, oh, I know about the Echo Flower, too. Yeah, from the... Yeah. They're all over the marsh. The music's getting really somber. They say, say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. <laughs> or maybe it's the ghost of Flowey. Well, Welp, really? <sighs> he speaks in Comic Sans and you expect anything else? You drive a fair bargain. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just... I don't have that kind of gold. Just kidding. Grillby, put it on my tab. Oh, you. Oh, sans you. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Now, I did do the other diner scene where he got all super serious on me. And we're back. All right, next we're going to go continue on through... The waterfall area. Uh, yeah, do let me know if I'm missing anything as far as secrets go. Or if I'm doing just fine here. I know I've talked to these things. I swore I saw something behind that Oh, wait, did I check behind the water before? Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Oh, another one of Alphys's tricks, I'll bet. Am I going the wrong way? This is a dead end here. You have to oh, phooey. Oh, that's right. I gotta water. travel across the water. I remember now. Doo -doo -doo. Well, that was a nice little Easter egg there. Okay, a nice waterfall. little playthrough bonus. Waterfall. Oh, you want me to actually talk to the waterfall again? Oh! There's always goodies behind the waterfall. Oh, I did get this. I got this before. Take the tutu. Yes, take the tutu. It's Ooh. better armor. Yes. Currently and it's also a tutu. Item... Old tutu. Equip the old tutu. But what if the donkey won't wear the tutu? Oh, I actually I really like this atmospheric part here. Ominous lighting. Yes. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. 
regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But, Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see, uh, you see... Uh, I, I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Poor guy. Oh. Spear of Doom. Zool. Do love that suit of armor, though. Monster Girl! Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous! What'd you do to get her attention, huh? huh? Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys! Go. Oh. Ah, oh, monster kid. You have no arms. She has no arms? Oh. Did not notice. Okay, and then there's this puzzle here. Yep, gotta... Yep. I remember. These puzzles are really simple. Almost to the point where they'd be better off not being there sometimes. But I guess it's alright. It adds, it adds, uh... Something... Nifty. Oh, monster! All right, a hippocampus or whatever it's called. Is that what they're called? Let's uh. A seahorse. Uh, it looks very swole. Let's flex at him. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for two. Uh oh. Flex more. Whoa. Flex Armstrong. Arms. Strong arms. Flexing. Owie. How is your? How is your... Oh, nope, guess not. I'm guessing this is gonna hurt like hell, but let's find out. Thrice is hard. Attack increases for both of you. Oh, whoa. Oh, is he getting his booty sweat all over the place? That's nasty. Ready for his next flex. Yeah, let's do it. Flex. Swall. Swall. <laughs> da 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 so there are two secrets in this room. Oh, do tell. One is a very silly one. Mm -hmm. One's kind of useful. Oh. Uh, I'll tell you the unuseful one. Basically, you can put the flowers behind that sign and read the sign from behind, and it'll admonish you because signs are read from the front. Oh, I see, I see. The second one is stand right there, turn right, throw it. Yar. I'll get another one. Throw it in the same way. All right, just chuck them all in the same direction. Get it. Have no fear as you rings up your sword face to face, toe to toe against a cruel and wicked lord. Ah. Oh, a bench. Sitting on the park. A, a lone quiche. I'll take the sketchy meat. Sketchy dungeon meat. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility of owning a quiche. With great quiche comes great responsibility. Lovely. And now if I remember correctly, one has to... Yeah. Like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I remember. Then this way. All the same way. do 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 uh, yeah, because I gotta go in a straight line. That's right, that's right. Yeah, I remember taking at least a couple tries last time. Ring my bell. Ring. Hello! This is Papyrus. How did I get this done? Obviously, I called you. <clears throat> yeah! <laughs> but I called you. You could have easily just called back. So, what are you wearing? I thought you didn't like me that way. I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? Hmm. 
Does it matter? Well, do you want to lie to your new best friend, or do you want to tell him oh, the no. truth? So you are wearing your dusty tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Okay, Jiminy Cricket, we got it. Now all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Yes. I don't know if I want to talk to all of these. I'm pretty sure I looked at all these before. Oh, monster time. Oh, one of the, this dude, yeah. This weird looking thing. Uh, clean? You ask Wash what to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Oh, so it's going to be like the Vegetoid. Yeesh. Oh, got it. Where's the next one? Oh, 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 gimme, 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 gimme. Ah. Friends with a little bird. Is the bird named Toriyama? Does he have a dinosaur that bounces on a ball? 25 gold, not too shabby at all. I've already looked through the telescope. Yeah. There we go. Do, 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 do. do love the atmosphere here. Kind of reminds me of Blackreach in Skyrim. Yeah, Waterfall has some of my favorite music and its overall atmosphere. Great place. Mm. Yeah, I'll have to check out the soundtrack sometime because I can't really hear much right now. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Uh oh. Yes, I remember I had to dodge these in the real world or else I'll get put into a fight. Oh, like so. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Um, C. Did I buy a cinnamon bunny? I forgot to buy another cinnamon bunny, didn't I? Oh, I can't open the menu. I can't heal myself. Groovy, baby. Very shagadelic. Oh, spears. Oh. Sick dodge, bro. Thanks. Yeah! Whew. Do -do, do -do -do -do. Ba -do, do do Banana boat. Get out of my way, monster girl. Oh no, she's coming to get me. We're in the money. Smack. Oh, that poor girl. Bum, 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 bum. The plumed hat is kind of obvious. Okay, now we've... Oh, here you come again. Do, 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 do. Lot of TT, lot of TT. Undyne just touched me. I'm never watching my face ever again. Man, you are unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left, yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Plop. Oh, you naive, innocent little thing. Okay, we've saved, and now we're in this part of Waterfall, where Sans is at. And mysteriously uh, ahead of us, despite staying behind. Hmm. Yeah, he, he can teleport, probably. Maybe. Uh, nice cream. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> I relocated my store, but there's still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. I've got how much gold? <clears throat> 25. Yeah, let's take one. Cool. Uh, what do I currently have on me? Okay, I still need to get rid of the snowman piece, the bandage, and the manly bandana. Because I've only got a little bit of space left in my inventory. Check the box. Check the box. I see. Take it. Take it. Take it. What does this guy say again? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Are you threatening me? Let's see. Oh, right. That's the way back with the duck. Wait, where's that shop? There's a shop I was able to use before and get a lot of money from. Ring. Hello! This is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, 
The friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu, because I knew, of course. After such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way, you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Click. Bloody bloop. Naps to bloop. Merp. Oh yeah, here comes that weird tentacle monster, yep. Donna. Deep within the depths. Hello, weird tentacle monster. I noticed you were here. I'm Onion Sun. Onion Sun, you here? Go away. You're visiting waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? I love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Please go away. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. Please leave me alone. The aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay though, you hear? I'm not gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Please leave me alone before I cancel this pacifist run! Hey, there, huh? That's the end of this room. I'll, I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall! <laughs> Okay, that was bizarre. Ah, yeah, one of these things. Uh, hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. So what do I got here? Uh, try humming. A jazz ballad. Ah, music. Remember, music is a weapon. Oh, look at that, already golden. Take our car and stop the new order. Is this the shop? Nope. It's the piano. Oh, yeah, piano. Do I get an item from this? What does that circle represent? So basically, you hold a direction and uh -huh. hit the button. It plays a note. Oh. If you don't hold a button, it goes on the circle with a different note. Ah. Now, is there some, uh, some kind of... There is a... There is something that tells you, but it's not in here. Got it. Hmm. That's a bad effect. Love it. Look at that. Ah. Oh. Kind of reminds me of Burmakia in Final Fantasy IX, where the with all the broken stone and the rain. Yep, take an umbrella. Yes, always. You know, I feel bad for that statue. Maybe we should give him an umbrella too. You think so? I hmm. mean, look at him. He's raindrops keep falling on his head. Just like the guy whose feet are too big for his bed. Music box. All right. Now, if you listen, I really can't. The volume's too low. And if you wait just a few seconds. Okay. Oh, okay. So what do I get if I do that? Is it something I especially care about? It's just a funny scene. Ah, okay. All right. Neat. Take one. Then I gotta walk through the rain. The rain looks suspiciously like friendship pellets. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! 
Let's go. Do, 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 do. Walking through the rain. Walking through the rain. Hope it doesn't cause me any pain. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was human, I would wet the bed every night knowing she was going to beat me up. <laughs> so, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to the school? She could beat up all the teachers. <laughs> um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Sure she is. Put the umbrella back. Yes, always. Always put past that. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you want to see Undone, right? Climb on my shoulders. Okay. Yep. Thanks a million. Good old. You go on ahead, don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Yeah, you know, I could just pull you up. But how? No arms! The poor child. Yeah, the poor child who uh, shares a... shares a body type with a Pokemon. You know, a whooper. Uh-oh. Oh, this part. Oh, yeah, all right. Bourbon moment. Ah. Do, 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 Hopefully I do a lot better than I did the first time. Oh, oh, careful. Do, 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 do. Ooh, I love the music here. I like how I can actually hear it, which is kind of... Oh, bugger. Pestilence. Well, good thing I'm not playing for trophies, because I'm sure I would have just missed one right there. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Uh-oh. It's in tinsel! Oh, balls. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Nutsack. And I'm only level one. This game is the ultimate no-level challenge. Although, actually, I think Final Fantasy IX might be harder as far as no-level challenges go. I'm gonna need to do this in two, uh, two recordings, aren't I? Or whatever have you. Ah! I got so excited. Ah! Oh, I am so dead. Well, let's see if I can actually get this done in one attempt instead of, uh... I made the mistake of going the wrong way and I kept getting hit. Whoa! Uh oh, oh Haka Cheddar! Oh, front laven. Do 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 do. I am amazed I was able to get as far as I did. Oh, did I make it to the end? First try. Booyaka! Despite all the mistakes I made. Um, I can't. Oh, I gotta go back, haven't I? Do 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 do. Armor. Falling! And of course, since this is a role-playing game, we can survive a fall from any height! Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Oh, you okay? Here, get up. Russell, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... I still don't know who the heck rescued me. Yeah, that's a bunch of garbage. Actual garbage. Oh, thank God, a save point. And we're back after a brief save. Heading over. Continuing. Oh, yeah. This is where the other 
Dummy the is. What? Check the box. The box. Check the box. Which box? This box? It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no sign of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Oh! Great. Got the astronaut food. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Oh! Now I get it! That has to have been Alphasis. Trying to get that stupid package open with too much plastic on it, right? Try to leave, but he's mad because I didn't punch him. Guts man's ass. Da da! Ha 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 ha! Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy! My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said! Horrible, shocking, unbelievable! It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul right out of your body. Ah! Okay, let's see. Uh, well, let's try talking to him. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. <laughs> oh, lovely. Foolish, foolish. Foolish fool who thinks of foolish things foolishly, foolishly, while also fooling foolish. Ow, you dummies! Oh, that's right, I gotta... Right, 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 I remember now. Man. So let's, uh... Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go, so gotta do this, and then... Gotta trick him into shooting himself... with his own attacks. Oh, tis great sport to see the engineer hoist of his own petard. Yeah, I can hear the boogie. Boogieing, boogieing, swinging, swinging skeleton or swinging uh, dummies, swinging ghosts, swingers. Mad dummy is bossing around its bullets. Nyeh, nyeh, come get some. Come on. Oh, 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 come on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I seem to remember getting having trouble getting the oh crap baskets. Ah! Mad dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box. It's actually one of my favorite types of bosses in, in most games, I'll be honest, where you trick the boss into hitting himself. Like, uh... The final... Not the final form, but the, the penultimate form of Dr. Robotnik in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. When you're flying around in the Doomsday Zone, and you gotta hit him with the missiles. Man, that was an awesome game, wasn't it? Uh, get some. Oh, got a little bit. I wonder how many I've actually got to do. Yeesh. How many it takes? Well, how many does it take? Do you want? Do you know? Probably a lot. Yeah. Oh, now there's three of them. I must be making progress. He's going into pissy boss mode. Yeep. Dummies! 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 Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're fired! You're fired. Relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical words fill the room. Dummies, dummy bots, magic missile. Hey, it's like the darkness. Whoa. Right, because eventually they stop, they follow you for a while, and then they stop following you. Dummy bots transform and roll out. Yeah! <laughs> Very good hit. Very that solid. was a solid hit. A solid hit. Oh, what game was that? Oh, that was from, uh... That line of dialogue was from uh, Baldur's Gate, if I'm not mistaken. A solid hit. One of the voice options. That's that's the critical hit. Uh, uh what's it called? Dialogue. That's the word I'm looking for here. Dialogue. Ishkabugger. Ah. Maybe I should have an Ishkabugger count. What do you think? Boom. Oh, I've got healing items, haven't I? These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. Ooh. I've got knives! Knives! <laughs> shank, shank, shank. I'm... I'm out of knives. <laughs> but it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me, and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me forever. Forever! Forever! 
forever. <laughs> what oh, what oh. Ah. Uh, don't hit me. Stop it now. Acid rain. Nice. Forget it. I'm out of here. That was close. I was down to two hit points. Naps to Luke. Lukey. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Thanks for noticing me. Oh no. You guys looked like you were having fun. Oh, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want, but no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Akuna Matata. Hi. My house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in case you don't. Alright, I'm going to check the time right quick here. What? Oh, it's literally right there. I'm up to 50 minutes now, so I think that's a good place to call this episode. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.